I'm Andrew Phillips. Welcome to my channel. Today we are back here working on the R2D2 build project. If you've been following this at all, you'll know that we're on part three right now. In parts one and two, we worked on building the dome, getting it to this point. We also talked about the printer that I'm using, the filament that I'm using. I also shared with you links to the files to where you can get all the 3D print files for this in order to be able to do it. But in this one here, we're going to be working on the body. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have here um, parts of the body that we're working on right now. What we have printed so far, I have all the pieces here to the lower skirt. That's the first part of the body that goes at the very bottom of R2-D2. And um, here we, you have the multiple pieces that go together. So it's a total of, of four pieces if you're using the Mr. Bailey's, um, I believe it's the, the MK3, I think it's what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen right now. But that's what I'm using. So it's four parts right here. So we have that printed already, and now we're working on all the other parts of the body. It's a lot of parts to do because you have three layers. After the skirt, you have your first layer, your second, your third. Your first layer, I believe, has four pieces. Then you're looking at five pieces for the second and third, so it's a lot. Some of these take two to three days to print a piece. So this one right here, for example, this has been running now for a total of nine and a half hours. It still has 12 hours left to finish it. But here's the dome right here, and if you've seen the other two parts that we mentioned already, we went into this, but I have it on the Lazy Susan now, so it rotates nice and smooth. That's all done. We have the eye in there and everything else. We also received from, um, I believe it's Astro Pixels uh, out of the UK. He makes all of the dome lights. That's the LED lights that go in the three hollow projectors. You have this light here. You have this one here also here in the back. Then you also have the one that goes in here. And then if we turn it on this side, you have the two that go here. We're not going to be putting them on in this video, but we are going to take a look at them. I'm going to show them to you. I'm also going to have a link down in the description where you can buy them as well. He custom makes them, so he has a very limited amount of stock. When they run out, you got to wait for him to make more. So I encourage you, if you're planning on doing one of these, get that as soon as you can because it might take some time to come in. But right now, we're going to start printing all the pieces for the body. Not going to get into actually assembling it in this video. We're going to get them all printed and then we'll lay it all out, see how it looks. And then in the next part, we'll actually glue everything together, use the filler, sanding, painting, all that, and get it done because that, that's a lot involved. But let's come over here and let's take a look at what's going on here with this one. So this piece right here, this is um, the third layer. This one here is going to take a while to print, but um, I've just been running this thing around the clock. This is a really good printer right here. We have the Soval S, uh, SV06 Plus. So this has the bigger print area over here. This is the 300 by 300. If you've got a smaller one, some of the Mr. Bailey files, he's got them sliced up a little bit more for smaller uh, printing areas. But for this one here, it's actually working out really good. I'm very impressed with this printer. But uh, we can take a look here. I'll see if we can get a shot of it. You can see these files are really good because he has um, all the motor mounts in there. And it's set up really good. So if you want to have the different doors and different things moving around, it has the mounts for all the motors. Now for mine, as I've mentioned already in the part one and two, right now I'm focusing mainly on getting R2-D2 built, everything completed. Obviously the head's going to rotate, the lights are going to work, we're going to add sounds, it'll be forward, back, all that stuff. Not going to be adding any of the doors and stuff that pop open and close, but since I have all of the mounting areas for the motors. I may come back at a later time. So in the last video when we built the dome, I showed you, I only um, used um, just a glue gun to hold all these panels in. That way, if I do want to have them be able to open and close eventually, I can just pop them out easily, add the motors to that, and, and get that working. What I don't like is most people have them popping open like this. In the movie, R2-D2s didn't open this way. So I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. We'll, we'll think about that. But um, what I am planning on doing is right underneath his head, you have the two blue little pieces that come out like this sometimes in a movie. I'm probably going to add those. So those are probably the only two that I'm going to do for now. When I get the actual transmitter, I'm going to try to get one with a lot of, um, a lot of channels on it just in case I want to come back, as we just said, and add it to it. But as this is printing here, we're going to stop right now. We're going to let a lot of these print, and then we'll be back to take a look at some of the stuff. We'll show some of the progress. And then we're going to end off this video with everything printed. We'll put it all together, see how it looks, and then that'll conclude this. But uh, I'm going to let this continue to print, and then we'll be back.
Here's the Astro Pixels that I got here. If we open this up, I'll show you what it comes with. This is actually pretty cool. What he has, he has a picture of the droid that he made. And um, he has it set up in the old vintage style Star Wars card. And then here on the back, it tells all about it, which is pretty cool. But looking inside, so you have... This right here is your LED board that goes on the long LED strip on the back of R2's head. These are your three color projectors. Then these are your two lights front and back that you have right under the radar eye. And then these two right here are the ones that go to the left of the radar eye, the two that are stacked. Then you have the board here and then all the harnesses right here, the wires. So it's pretty cool. It's very organized, very well packaged. The price that he gave was very, very cheap compared to other ones that I've seen online. Um, I was fortunate because he had some still in stock. If you reach out and um, you get him when he's out of stock, then you need to wait for him to, to make more of them. And then there it is, Astro Pixels right here, lighting systems. I'll have a link here in the description of this video to his website if you need to buy some for your project. But we're not going to put them in on this video, but just wanted to show them here. Once we get everything all set up and we have all the electronics and the power going to R2, then we'll get all that connected. You need to be careful because I believe these are only five volts, so you don't want to burn them out by running them through a higher voltage. But um, that's it right here. Just finished printing the last piece. These are all the pieces now to complete the main body of this R2-D2 build that we're working on. But um, let me get a close up and let me show you all these pieces. Pretty big pieces here, like we have like this one here. Got a lot of reinforcement in here. Some of these took two and a half days to print. So this was a long process, but let me get a close up. So now that we have everything here, we're coming up on the close of this video. The goal of this video was to get all of this printed. In the next video, part four, we're actually gonna start putting it together, meaning that we're gonna epoxy it and glue it together. There's also some support um, rods that go through it. We'll get all that in place. Then we'll use the Bondo, fill all the seams, sand it real good, prime it, do the filler primer, and then paint it. That'll all be the, for the next video. There's also some, some door panels, and then there's little uh, arms and stuff like that that we're gonna 
have made as well, and we'll paint those in the next video as well. But let me go ahead and put all this together. We're going to do a time lapse now, and I'm going to build all this together so we can see how it's going to look as I just lay it all out, and then we'll wrap this up. Well, here it is all together, and you can see the size of this thing. This thing is big, um, and as mentioned already, a lot of hours, a lot of days to print all this, but these parts are very thick and reinforced. It all goes together really nice. So in the next video, like I said, we're going to actually glue all this together. I'm going to be using JB Weld uh, epoxy because we want this to be more structural. We use a lot of super glue on the dome piece because not too structural, but this one here is holding a lot of weight. You're going to have a lot of mounts for the motors and all that's going to go in here. But you can see here on the front, we also need to print the door panels and the different vent pieces that go around on here. So in the next video, we'll be getting all this together. We'll be epoxying it together, filling it, sanding it, painting it, and then we'll work on printing all the accessories so we can print and um, epoxy, paint, and do all that with them. That way, this entire main body will be done along with the dome, and then we'll be able to move on to the legs. But let me get a close-up so you can see this up close. And you may have noticed I have the numbering on there. Um, these actual parts, when you're printing them from the Mr. Bailey's files, he has them labeled like 3AB and 3F, 2A and all that. So I just labeled them just in case I needed to see how they went. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory when you're dealing with R2-D2's body, but it's broken up into four pieces. You have your skirt down here, then you have your first level, your second, your third. Um, but uh, definitely turning out really cool. So if you want to see the other videos I did, this is part three. On the other ones, we, we talked about what printer I was using, the filament I was using, the files, where to get the files, all that. We also talked about the dome, and then we wound up building the dome, finishing the dome, got that completed. You can check all that out. But uh, this one here was getting the, the main body done, which I think turned out really good. So that wraps up this video with the R2D2 build project. As mentioned already in the next Part, part four, we'll get into finishing this and then printing all the little pieces that go in here. I am going to have these two arms motorized when it's done so they'll be able to open and close. You do have the ones that come out of here and on this side, not gonna be motorizing them. I'm probably gonna make them, put them in there and put the hinges on, just have them in place. I may come back at a later time and add motors to them, but for now, we're just gonna seal them in there but still have that option. But that wraps up this video with this RTD to build project. I hope that this video was informative for you. If you're planning on doing one, please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the other videos down in the description pertaining to this build. I also have some other videos down there as well that might be kind of pertaining to this topic, and I'll see you next time.